Time for some more TV shenanigans. Oh, you baited my friend. Actually, they're not really, not really my friend. Oh shit! Uh, went through that TV with a little bit too much momentum. I see. Um, that's looking like some goop. Hmm. We're all staring at the tower. I didn't mean to fall down. Hmm. If I go through that TV, I'm gonna die. All right, now we should be good. We are yet slaves to the telly. Duke's on you, I haven't had a television in... God... I can't remember the last time I owned a TV, actually. Oh, I see a lever. I pull a lever. I see, it electrifies the water. Get this door open for you, no problem, buddy. Hey, buddy. No! He got me with his TV powers before I could throw the switch. I think this came out when all we had was Netflix and TV. Uh, now, Netflix I did have for a very long while, but uh, I have canceled it. The whole point of Netflix is it had all the shows, but now all the other big companies have caught up and started their own exclusive things and fragmented everything again, and now it's just Cable 2.0. So, uh, yeah, I ended up canceling that. I think the last straw was when I went to rewatch uh, Death Parade, and I found it uh, was no longer in Netflix's uh, stuff. No, fuck off. Not the singing children again. Fuck. We gotta take out the trash! Hmm... Chimming's only sustainable with a few provided other butt loader tools. Exactly! the convenience factor. But nope. Everyone wants to have a slice of the pie. You can't just have a nice, good thing. Thanks, capitalism. I... Hmm.
I hope this is what I was supposed to do. No, it was not what I was supposed to do. Hmm. So I could go down and down, I guess, if I'm not supposed to go up. Nope, that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay. Literally, literally. So what can we do with this? I can just teleport up. Unless it takes me to another floor. Oh, I see. There's a floor in between. Clever girl! Imagine if companies weren't a load of lying, greedy dirtbags. Yeah, I'll fucking imagine. Eh! Get out of my way! This hole, it was made for me! Mmm, that looks dangerous. Let's play the floor is electrified. All right, we can maybe kill her. Just for good measure, can we unplug this? No. All right. All right, we got rid of her, but I don't see a clear way to go from here. Oh, I need that stool, I bet. So I can reach the handle. It's funny how we are just small enough that we can't reach handles at normal height. Or are we normal-sized humans, and they are simply giants? The world may never know. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, look at them all jamming. Hey, y'all. Can I m mind if I join the party? What are y'all watching? Huh? Is it, uh, anything good? Damn it. I wanted to try and turn the TV off. Hmm. <laughs> I see we are really playing with electricity here. It's so lame. <laughs> Yeah, let me kill myself, jeez. Um, uh, hold on. I can't climb up. We have a lot of spicy water over here.
Hmm. What do we have over here? We have a cart. Suppose it gives us cart blanche. See if I can disable the power. I think I used to be able to slip between some places while playing hide and seek and then suddenly one day you can't. Oof. 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 Alright, one of them is out. Don't know what that means. It's especially crazy because, uh... When we played Cops and Robbers... Like, we had, uh, like, the whole, we used, like, the whole block, and we had a bunch of, like, random stuff to, like, use as things for the robbers to steal, and then the robbers had to have a stash. And then it, uh, got pretty hard jumping over fences, and... Hmm... Alright, I don't think that's the way to go. Oh. This is just the zappy water. Why am I over here? There's something over here for me? anything under the bed? Nope, just the toilet paper. Weird, but okay. Wait, is that a key? Am I crazy? Yes, I am crazy. Thought it was a key, instead it's nothing. Okay. Ah, but the t Okay, so I need to get to the TV. Okay, if I push the shopping cart down there, maybe I can use that room to get back up and flip the power back on. I think that's the play. No! No! Start running outside as soon as your game did. Nice. Rain is the best weather. Just watch out for any faceless entities that can uh, destroy your physical form with their weird waves. They just sort of side blast you. So you know you just gotta you know, maybe do a little, do a little ducking, a little weaving. Turn on the TV. That seems, seems to distract him. <laughs> huh. Huh. Well, it's very simple to check if you are a faceless entity. Um, I would recommend using a mirror and perceiving if you have a face. If you have a face, then you don't have psionic powers. Um, but hey, at least you can look away from the TV. Hup. The key 
keep looking. I feel like there's got to be some kind of secrets. I've probably missed a bunch. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Um... We need something to break glass. Or maybe I just move them over here. Oh no, they're coming! Uh oh. Oh no! Chase sequence! Oh, I hate the way they walk. Fuck me. Can't catch me when I teleport, bitch! But are we any closer to rescuing friend? Friend! I got you! No! Shit. Come on. Oh, I'm literally too close. I'm gonna die because I'm too close. I hate the way he zips. I hate the way he zips. Now, of course, the axe in the wall doesn't fall down until after we do this. I'm helping! No! You leave her alone! I'm stuck. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. Literally exactly what's happening to me right now. Hey, Shigebunoi. I hope you're having a good evening because I am terrified. You picked a good time to scan, that's for sure. going on is he still chasing me he is Oh, 
it's so creepy. not like any of that. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. Nope. No. No. No, no, no. Fuck! <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, I got this. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, we gotta get over. We gotta get the get the plank. We get the fuck out of here. Fuck! Oh, we're still sliding. Okay. Are we safe? I feel like we did. I feel like he's still after us. Fuck! Oh, the drums! Fuck you! It's good, but fuck you! Oh, shit! Leave me alone! I'm just a little guy! I'm just a little guy! Fucking teleporting through bullshit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you serious? I swung backwards on the handle and it put me in his kill range. Right, at least we don't have to do too much backtracking. Good stuff, good stuff. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, little guy. Power slide. Throw the switch. Fuck you! Taking the last train out of here! Alright, our train came to a very sudden stop. Oh, did it break our TV remote? Alright, so I guess no more portals. Shysta. All right, I don't think there's anything to the right, so I guess we got to go there. Friend. Her shade. Hold on, friend. I'm coming. I'll save you. As soon as my back stops hurting. Ugh. I'll tear down that building. No longer will it control us. I wonder if she's in a, like, parallel dimension? But I don't know, because when we when we had that cinematic the first time we teleported through the TVs, it was like we were traveling through and 
living entity because there's like eyes on the inside and it was all fleshy. So I wonder what the digital shades are. I'm coming for you. Just you wait. You! The hat is off. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, was I supposed to do something? I was supposed to do something. <laughs> I was too caught up in the uh, the moment. Woo! Fuck you, tall man. Get blasted! Wait, what? Why did it stop working? Alright. Maybe I gotta do some timing. I mean, it's doing the blasting him back bit. Um... We're absorbing the energy. We blast him. Alright, so I can, like, move left and right, but I don't know... What? Oh, come on, dude. Alright, we blast him backwards. Oh, I have to, like, focus on his hand. All right. Okay, I think I got him now. Think you can fight me? You can fight me! Look at how all the houses are crumbling and falling apart as we blast him. I wonder if the houses are even of this reality.
shit. Did we just move ourselves all the way to the building in the distance? Holy fuck. I'm coming for you, friend. Life in the big city. <laughs> These fucking achievements. some fucking non-Euclidean space, don't we? Yep. Oh boy, this is gonna get a bit silly. Nothing over there. Hmm. It's that eye in the background. I think I'm supposed to just go to the one that has the music. What a strange space. Oh, that's trippy. That's an interesting puzzle. God damn it! Fucking banana peels. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since we had a snarf. I have to go... Ah! Alright. Can I... push this over, maybe? Yes. Now I feel stupid. Welcome on by comrade. What were you playing? Devil May Cry. You know, I've never actually played any of the Devil, Devil May Cry. Holy oh, shit. Hey, Hi, Drecky, we killed your plant sister, Glada Jim. Hi, Drecky, we killed your plant sister, Glada Jim. Hi, Drecky, we killed your plant My sister, plant Glada Jim. Hi, Drecky, huh. we killed your plant sister, Glada Jim. Hi, Drecky, we killed your plant sister, Glada Jim. Hi, Drecky, we killed your plant sister, Glada Jim. Hi, Drecky, we killed your plant sister, Glada Jim. Oh, thank you for resubscribing, Kassara. Welcome on by. 
Uh, I hope you had a great time with Devil May Cry. I've never actually played any of uh, that series myself. Um, but if y'all don't know me, I am Drekki Ormer. I'm a draconic serpent, a flightless dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. And sometimes I spin around when people make me. <laughs> but uh, I like, I've been playing some scary, scary, uh, scary games on uh, Fridays the last while. Oh, thanks for making room in the ziggurat, Kayama. And, and, and Nima. Going to bed, Higgs? That's no problem. You have a good eep. Have a good eep. And yeah. Glotto, you are probably streaming for a good long while. Because uh, I have, and I usually start pretty late. So you need to go leave a piss and take a water. Because I will still be here. Um, I don't know how much more of Little Nightmares 2 we had. Uh, Little Nightmares 1, I think we it was only about 5 or 6 hours, so I don't know if we're near the end. I don't know if I will try and marathon it like I accidentally did for the first one, but I still got some gas in me and I'm going to be going for a little bit while longer. Um, it's a scary game, so if you don't want to be scared, then thanks for stopping on by. Uh, I hope to see you again some other time. Um, I certainly... Scare very easily. So it has been a fun mix. Um, there have been... Some of the puzzles in this game have been a little... A little more obtuse than in the first one. Uh, we just got done with another one that... It took me a minute to understand contextually, like, what I was supposed to be doing. It, it, it seemed like it was just going to be a triumphant cutscene kind of thing. And then it transitions into you actually needing to have done something. Um, also, because I am so bad, and I keep forgetting, but I have that. Uh, if you're somehow over here and you're not already following the amazing Caracal Glottal, uh, you can fix that. Uh, there should be just, just made it real easy. Just, just click a little, just click a little button. Just go follow Glottal. He deserves it. He's an amazing artist, a great friend, and a really comfy gamer. Hold on, give me a second. No, the frogs! Ah, oh, crap! Oh, my frogs! No! How dare, you, how dare you submit the frogs to the horrors of this game? Uh, but anyway. Wow! Yes! <laughs> Man, you really, y'all really, really, really layering on the combos. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. It's always fun to see how all of those things interact. <laughs> Where am I? So right now we're going through all these spooky doors following the music. Our friend was taken away into a digital alternate reality kind of thing. We killed the entity that grabbed her, but uh, we still need to pull her out of the TV dimension. What? A uh, friend? Friend? No, friend. No, it's okay. I'm here to help. Come on, friend. She, uh, she was not like this originally. Uh, do I need to go through the other side where she was, maybe? When we originally found her, she had that little, um toy device.
One does not go through life unchanged. Yeah, but you suddenly don't go from being a Lilliputian to being a... strange... stretch Armstrong arm creature. I'm just here to help! Ow. It's also a little unclear because a uh, friend in the raincoat was the character we controlled in the first game. So it's unclear if this is a prequel or a sequel. I mean, the fact that The fact that she didn't have the raincoat when we first found her makes me think this is a prequel to the events of the Little Nightwares 1. But ultimately, we will see. Uh, open that door for me, please. Yep, yep, right through that door. Also, wait, can we... We can't put a hat back on. Damn, no more hats. Our hat, our head is naked, unblemished. Hey, <laughs> I fucking got ragdolled. Okay, so. Ah! Yeah, that's what happened. Derengar. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Where does this go? Okay, she slapped me. Okay, so I have a weapon to hit the music box. But I need to get her away from it. Okay, so maybe I need to do a bunch of, uh...
So you get the axe closer. Oops. I wasn't thinking about that. Get over to the right. Ah! No! We almost hit the fucking music box. Maybe I can just rush it like that. Let's try that. Think. Come on, friend, come back to me. Nick Jam. Donk. I'm here to break the control it has over you. Please, friend, come back to me. I'm just trying to help. Um. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Here I come to ask you again. say about roads to hell uh they're really fun ah. no 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 <laughs> every time i get schwacked and i ragdoll it's always very silly oh shit she actually reaches through now She's learning. I don't know. I think the road to hell is paved in a uh, really cool destruction of personal property. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. All right, how the, f how the fuck do I get my ax? She actually schwacked me. All right, that axe is just in a terrible location. Spin. All right, we're close.
No! No! She clipped me! Ah! Oh, I was about to have the setup ready. Yeah, I saw that coming. It's when she does the double attack that is really messing me up. Because it's really slow to pick up and put down the axe. Because I need to get the axe and pull it away and then set up for a second combo. Because I need to go through the right door to come out the left one to be on the platform. Because we can't jump with that. We can't jump while holding items. All right. So we got her over there. Bam! Three times the charm. That should be it. Rule of three, baby. What is with all the flesh? Ah, come on. I'm helping. Release my friend. Return her to me. All right, now this entire building is some kind of pulsating flesh monstrosity. But... We saved our friend. Oh, the eye! Another eye! I don't like this. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. It's gonna goop me. It's gonna goop me. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! No, no. Oh, I got subsumed. I have not played Ray. I don't know. It seemed okay, just a bit too wandering. Ah, fuck! Fuck! I don't want to become gloop! What is this? What were they doing? And this is why you don't watch TV, kids. You turn into giant fleshy masses. Oh no. Oh no. Friend! Let's go. No. No way. That's unsettling. Just 
meat. Oh, texture. Chair. Oh, gosh. What is going on in this thing? Sitting there? Is he becoming the new tall man? Find a hat, isn't he? And he puts on that uh, that little um, tribly, whatever that the the tall man had. in the room once again. also another they are pretty I feel one one of the strongest points with the with the little nightmares games is they don't overstay their welcome I feel they are pretty pretty concise there's not really a lot of chaff or or like time wasters stretch yeah oof, I need it yeah yeah there's a little nightmares 3 and I'm certainly interested to check it out but, oh my gosh. Alright, so we know how... We see her get the coat. Like, she... It's a little hard for me to think, because like when we found her, she was trapped in a room. And she did have, like, a little music music box. But, like, she, le she immediately left it behind and came with us. Like, it was no big deal. I don't know if it was a situation where, like, metaphorically, like, she was growing older, but was too fixated on her childhood 
comforts and being forced to give up those child, uh, her childhood toys, you know, made her bitter. And that's why she let us go. Um, I don't know. God, that's so sad. Well, at least we know why she's alone in uh, Nightmares 1. I haven't seen... I'm probably going to avoid anything on Nightmares 3 just so I don't get any kind of spoilers because it's certainly a game I like going completely blind, but... Um, I do think Nightmares 1 was... I, I, I do think I liked Nightmares 1 better just because there were some kind of frustrating puzzles in this game and while they had like nice little gimmick with one of our off buttons uh where it went from like the flashlight to the remote control um they weren't throughout it was just a gimmick on each of those two sections um So, I don't know. And it, it feels like with Nightmares 1, it was a lot easier for me to think of sort of connecting thoughts. You know, our character is starving. Um, you know, we keep getting this food and we see this offensively just gratuitous gluttony going on. Like from, it really reminds me of like that spirited away scene um, with like her parents just literally pigging out or pigging out until they literally pig out and they transform into pigs like just gratuitous food everywhere um this one may maybe maybe some of it's just like missing me a little bit when it comes to the tvs because that's definitely been the strong through line on this one of people being stuck on the tvs fascinated with the tvs but I didn't, like, even though that was a huge thing, like, now and then with him attuning to the TV and then in that last section with the people, the faceless people following TVs, I don't see how the school and hospital levels really connected with a more overarching theme. Um, and it wasn't like it was... It felt a little too loose if it was trying to aim for more of a, a, a growing up progression. Because, like, we did run into school. So I was like, all right, maybe, you know, maybe we're going to go from, like, school on up. But then, like, after school, we go to a hospital and it's kind of... Uh, um, like, it wasn't bad. I still enjoyed the game quite a bit. And it certainly scared the hell out of me. Um, the combat was okay. I actually prefer my horror when you can't fight back uh, and you have to play smart. Um, so even though it was funny as a bit at the beginning, the areas where you had to use the combat were a little frustrating just because the timings were really tight. And if you've been here for a while, you, you know, so I died quite a bit. All right, um, there's a post credits in Nightmares 1. So while the credits burn through will they keep scrolling if i tab out it will slow down all right i was gonna see if i can find who someone to raid into while these scroll shouldn't be too much longer i don't want to accidentally skip any kind of endgame crut scene so i'm not like clicking through that i have a bad habit of accidentally doing that in uh games now and then <sighs> yeah I hope y'all enjoyed the spooky night um, I have a couple options for the next scary game so I am going to probably consult them and see what to do because there, there's like Four or five that jumped out at me from a list a friend uh, sent me. Certainly, definitely not putting off Outlast, which is 
Uh, I've heard it is like very, very scary, and that's why it's the it's gonna be the capstone. Because whenever I play, I I know that when I play Outlast, um, I'm going to be done with scary games for a while. So that one's uh, I'm saving that one for last. Reawakens your obsession with that game. <laughs> yeah, I certainly like games that, like, for as much as I might not like it as much, um, they are still really good with the sound and the audio, the cinematography, I would say, because, like, those scenes where you go out into an area and then this camera zooms back and you can just see all the buildings and the background you know you have this atmosphere of the rain coming down as it's hitting the ground like it's just, oh it's so good and like the environmental like the background storytelling of just various things set throughout the levels is also really cool really like games with uh, stuff like that. You might notice from all the rain world I play. <laughs> oh, yep, it's the violins. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Brian Yip. That's an interesting last name. All right. Should be almost done, I think. Hopefully. It's going to be awkward if there's no end credit scene this time. Metaphor the paradox of corrupt adults corrupting children, and thus the corrupt children are corrupt. Yeah, the cycle. Love to see a movie of this franchise. Are you pee your pants? I'm not sure if a movie would. I don't. I don't know if this would translate well into a movie. Although speaking of movies and games, um, the. company that did Outer Wilds, um, I don't think, yeah, it's not an Outer Wilds movie. They're doing another movie of another game of theirs, but it made me think Outer Wilds could be a really, really good movie. I think it has a lot of good elements that allow someone with the creative direction to put them in an order that's satisfying to sit through and I feel like it has a pretty poignant ending um, if they want to go that way and there's a lot of it fun characters to meet along the the path plus after watching edge of tomorrow um, I like I like the uh, the scenes where it's sort of a shorthand or compilation of failed loops like the one where where Tom Cruise fucks up going under a car and gets schwacked you just see everyone's reaction just like what was he thinking all right we're at the Bandai Namco all right fortunately there's not a zip function for the credits Come on, guys. Ah! Welcome to the Ziggurat, eyes. I hope you have a good time. Although, pretty much wrapping up for tonight. Gotta get to this end credit scene. I mean, I didn't 100% um, Nightmares one and I still got an end credits. It'd be kind of annoying if I had to 100% the game. I really, I don't feel like I 100%ed it. I, I probably found a few of the secret digital things, but like I didn't get all the hats. 
uh, stuff like that. I only got like four hats. It was very awkward. I feel I thought they would be they would stand out much more, but I must not have been thinking or paying attention enough. Hello, this is Drecky of the Post Production. Thank you for watching or listening to this series. Whether it was background noise while you worked, experiencing a game vicariously, or you just like my thoughts and reactions. Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion of a similar game if I haven't played it. I stream on Twitch as Drecky Ormer if you wish to see things live and unedited. Regardless, have a great rest of your time zone, and I appreciate the time we shared. Bye!